Previously on AI The Somnium Files. Would find out on his own eventually. They are the children of Uranus, but I am ready to be introduced at any time. Oh, friendly Just enough. Just let me know when the time is right. Yeah, fair enough. It's not a proposal, no need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. <laughs> Date, I think you should go to the hospital. <laughs> Just like Renji. Oh. What about Daddy? You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> <laughs> and this is. Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh I am so sorry. <laughs> and that's about enough of that. Hello, welcome! You're Mizuki, right? Otis' friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? Yeah, um, regarding your son. Look, uh, you're so... <laughs> Why does this exist? That's the dialogue choice. Is, uh, Oda here? He went out early this morning. I don't know where. Oh, I see. Darn it. Took my business card out of my pocket and handed it to Mayumi. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. I'm trying to be professional here, Kaki. <laughs> Ota's not coming back. He gonna die. Oh, I hope not. All right, let's go. All right, let's see who's at Lemnus Cake. He might be here, might be somewhere else. Oh, no one's here. Oh, what? Hey there, handsome. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Hold on, give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? Why do I even play this game sometimes? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Yeah, I know, right? Come on, it's just not so bad. You're looking at her boobs! Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Doc? Uh, do you happen to see Ota here? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too? Wow. Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Or what passes for social skills. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. <laughs> yep, basically. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. Business card. Yeah! Got his number. You. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. If you call me, I will kill you. I, I, I will kick you. Uh, have you seen Iris? <laughs> Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, but looks like I won't be able to get her today. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. Fair enough. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Just, Just wait, wait until, until she's, she's done. done. For sure. <laughs> Too much bullshit. What? For sure. I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. <laughs> and the computer is pointing out how much of a valley girl idiot you are. You know something's wrong. What's gonna happen to the office? No, I haven't heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over. We might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job too. Man. <laughs> What am I gonna do if this place closes up? Well, I don't know, you've got those, you know, you can do something with those, right? So, anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Well, I... I... could go out <laughs> sometime. <coughs> wow, dude. You disgust me. <laughs> Echoing my sentiments. Echoing my freaking sentiments. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I guess I have to talk to her all the way. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? Pretty high. That's like, considering you're the, in a video the lotto. Yeah, but I mean, it's pretty high considering you're in a video game. But it was kind of lucky, in a weird way. What? Excuse me? Some of my me? old friends hit me up asking about it, you know? Feels like we're old alumni or something. I cannot believe you are trivializing the death of this girl, this young girl's father like this. That is a new level of cold and callous. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. All of your brain cells, all of your gray matter must have gone into your chest. Do you know this receptionist? 
I mean, yeah, but... Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like best friends. <laughs> we hang out, we party. We do not party. Hey, hey! Valley girl, why are you even in Tokyo in the first place? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Who hired this Suzuki, woman? Suzuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Of yeah. my brain cells. Where should we go next? There's only one place we can go. Uh, and that is Golden Yochoko. It's apparently like a like an entertainment street of some sort. I guess. Mm, who knows? Golden Yocho Yoko 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 Cho Saturday. Okay. Is this it? Wow. Yeah. You know about this place? Oh, uh, oh yeah. It's that place called Marble that they were talking about. Yeah. This is where I met Renshu for the first time. Oh, hot damn. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. Huh. This place is special. How special? You can right. find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. Ah, yes, you mean blackmailing people. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. You also go here to pick up chicks! Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. MC as in Minecraft? Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. In other news. Oh. At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the capital city highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. Final Destination 2. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. Of course. The investigation <clears throat> is ongoing. So there's no one here. There's a TV on the wall. Date, what was that weird show you used to watch? The one with the girls running in slow motion. <laughs> What was so good about it? <laughs> Everything. Man, I could use a drink. Out blood. No, you're driving. Can't you just drive? Indeed I can, but I refuse. <laughs> Why? Nothing good comes of you being drunk. Yeah, you're a detective. You have a reputation, well, a reputation models on the counter. Let's count them. Because it's a counter, get it? Huh? Nine, nine bottles. Just kidding, they're 18. That's how many there are. Let's count carefully. What is this? There are 18 bottles lined up on the counter. 18 bottles lined up on the counter. Uh, nothing there. Fridge. Hey, Mizuki. You mind cleaning some of your stuff out of the fridge at home? Hmm. Not gonna happen. <laughs> About... Renju. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Hmm. Yeah. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. Oh, God. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Hmm. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Interesting. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemnisgate, and mentally unstable. Ooh, mentally unstable, you say? <laughs> it was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. Fair enough. You think so? Sometimes, I don't think it was the right move. <laughs> he saddled up with this insufferable kid, right? You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. At the time. Let's hope so. Are you tired? Aren't you tired? No. And what do you mean by that? Nothing. Just let me know when you're tired. You can go home anytime you want. You aren't really worried about me. You just think I'm annoying, right? Uh, kinda yes, kinda no. Don't beat around the bush, just say it. But you know what? It wouldn't matter anyway because I'm not going home. Wow, obstinate young girl. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Stu! Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. I promised you, Stu. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as a guardian. <clears throat> Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. Not sure how much of that is actually scientifically proven, but okay. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. <laughs> She's about to say that you're not a good chef. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. Or that. That also works. You know, we really should have at least one meal together, you know? I told you, I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um, I don't like Ah, you have to chopsticks. think about it. It makes me sick. You have to think about it, therefore that means you actually do want it. Really now. People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. 
too clean. Ah, uh, there is such a thing as being too perfect. <laughs> the look on his face says, you know, if this were if this weren't such a family rated game, I would be throttling you right now. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why? Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. Oh, <laughs> As insufferable as this kid is, she has some burns to her. She really does. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. Yes, yes she has. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Okay, having fun at school? It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. That uh, makes sense, I guess. For I don't a know if they're too age. immature. You're just very mature for your age. Yes, you are very mature for your age. Props you think you. so? Yeah. The I'd... kids at school are so stupid. They gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I mean, what else do you talk about when you're in primary school, am I right? I don't see why that's anyone's business. <laughs> Those grade schoolers move fast. Damn. Uh, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. I expect her to say the words okay and boomer in this next sentence. You... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, someone else is here. Oh, who are you? Tate, honey. Long time no see. Ah, my eyes. <laughs> hey, Mama. How have you been? He calls her that, too. Ah. Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Oh, boy. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh. Your, I. Oh, it must have been hard. Ah, uh, okay. So it's public knowledge by now that they, uh, that her dad is dead. I saw on the news. It's okay, really. Well, that's fair. It shows oh, character. Must have been you know? so hard. <laughs> Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? <laughs> you can tell that it's also a man voice in this this character, by the way. Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. <laughs> This crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? Go ahead, ask away. I'll help any way I can. Okay, she's gonna be behind the counter now, isn't she? Yep. Uh, about Renju. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? People that will like that people. Is it okay like to talk in front of Mizuki? Of course. Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. Oh. You remember this, don't you? A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Oh, uh, that's no good. That is no good at all. Just okay. making sure that my mic the is okay. Shoko was running. Were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Might have been one of the same people. Hmm. Is Renju a regular here? I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. So it's like, Date and Renju were like your only two customers. Like seriously, wow. For a hole in a wall, a hole in a wall bar, you really are. It's just a hole in a wall. Shrivel up. You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? <laughs> I'll pass. Thanks. How's business? Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. As if you aren't yet sad and old and old and sad enough already, huh? Well then, you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. You mean like um uh, the way Renju got hooked up, like this? Just the one way is fine, thanks. Too soon, too soon, DJ. Too soon. About Mama. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you, and how do you fit in? I own this place. No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh. Okay. Mama's like, uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. Right. This is for Renju. I promise. Of course. Uh, is, are you scared of her in any way? Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. Much. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. Wow. 
That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. Oof. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. <laughs> Is this your first time at a place like this? Yeah, I mean, at some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. I mean, this, this is an adult bar, so like, I mean, you're 12, you know? Well, I would hope not, you're in elementary school. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Wow. Good call. Good call. Very good I was planning on going one day. Like six years from now, right? When I was old enough to drink. Good. I wanted to go to a bar with daddy. Oh, now we're depressed again. What else do you remember about Renju anyway? <coughs> well, me. there was the watch incident. We did find his watch in an oil barrel at Sunfish Pocket. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? No, I don't. Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? This gold one in this evidence bag? This is the one I, uh, you mean like, uh, you mean like this watch? Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Uh... Was it... At the sea. Yes, it was. In fact, it was in an oil. Ren was given that watch by his lover. Lover? It was an anniversary gift, I think. Not Shoko? Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was. No, it's fine. Gasp! But of course, it wasn't an Scandal. affair. Scandal! Oh. This was all after he was divorced. But I mean, it's after he was divorced. Daddy so. had a new lover. Damn, that was so fast. It's, uh, I am going to the bathroom. You remember where it is. Yeah, outside, right? This is a small establishment that does not have its own restrooms. Yes, I understand this. Wait, you're leaving? Oh, <laughs> scared of me, huh? I'm... No, it's just... It's just going to the bathroom. Mama, keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Don't have too much fun in there. <sighs> okay, fair. I give her a nod and a wave and left. Okay, I need some time to myself without this kid Iba, on here. Get boss on the line. Okay. Got it. Calling boss. Paging boss. Hi. What's up? Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was you doing know, some work. You know, doing this behind her, her back is exactly the reason why she doesn't trust you. Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Oh, that's why. Hi guys, what's up? Who's this asshole? Bitch. You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right, bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! Okay. That was the single fastest fight scene I've ever seen in this game. In, in, in video games. Hi! Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. Alright, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. You sure about that? Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. Interesting place. Uh... <laughs> the kind that knifes nicely at night it might just... It just... Uh... Hey, I but look. A flying squirrel taking a nap. It is clearly a tiger. Boo! Okay. About Shoko. Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko was part of an investment fraud scheme, and I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Okay. Huh. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. I mean... <sighs> you're not gonna get anything from criminals if you talk this way, you know? I told you. I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Hmm. <laughs> what? Chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. 
I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. Oh. Uh. Where did that come from? You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole. You need a lesson in manners. You know, I just gave you like four punches to the to like the gut. Why are you still up? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. Seriously, he committed suicide? Suicide. But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Ah, ah. Six years ago. It's all tied to the reason why you've lost your memory six years ago. Date, a minute please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. Um, okay. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. Recently used, the people in this office must- the sofa and ashtray. The people in this office must smoke? Um, zoom thermo? Someone else was sitting here. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. Oops. I see a few I want to find out what Oops, sorry, wrong button. So someone was here recently, right? Hey Iba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. Okay. Klein. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. So someone was here previously that smoked Klein brand cigarettes. Was there someone here recently? What are you talking about? You're the first guest today. Although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. See? How do you know that? I just do. Oh right, I remember now. Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Which guy? Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in, you made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Yeah, they were both sitting in front of the door. Aha, got you. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa, and neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Are you sure about that? Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here, and I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, still here. they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. And I'm telling you that you're a, that you're a uh, very bad you liar. Checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. Which wall? Oh, this wall, you mean. Yep, there's someone just here. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. Excuse me? I should shoot him. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of evolver in this situation. Damn it. Seriously? What's going on? Date, a porno mag at your feet. What? <laughs> da! Oh. Wow. You idiot. Hey. Did you just shoot at me? What the hell? Wait a minute. Why does he have a mini gun? Yes, you know what you, yes, you know you now know what I look like. Please don't stalk me. But like Yakuza? Mini gun? Uh? Yes, yes you did. Date! Load evolver with explosive rounds. Aim for the dragon's gold ball on the right. The what? 
Oh, the what? On the where? Oh, the why? Oh. Just do it. Wow. That is not an explosive round. That is a high count. That is hollow point. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> Iba, you saved me. What sort of big brain? You so lot level. <laughs> Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this poem, Meg? Oh my god, you incorrigible bastard. You idiot. <laughs> there is no adult magazine. Idiot! However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. I simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Your hand, is Shit. In, your hand isn't even on the gun. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, coward! I see you. Show your face. VR chat after the stream. Ah, okay. Hi. I know you, old man, older man. You're like another Yakuza. You're another mob boss or something, aren't you? Sejima, so, congressman. Oh, a politician. What is this guy doing here? Hi, what are you doing here? I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. Well, I mean, it's either his mob boss, well, mob boss, in this case, he's a politician. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. You say so. So? <laughs> Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. Maybe. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. Excuse me? I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. Fair enough, I guess. Do you know about... The president of Lemnusgate? We aren't friends. But I did meet him a few times through work. I mean, you might be a shady mob, you might be a shady politician who's connected to the Japanese mob, but I really do want to find out what happened to my best friend, so... What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Ah, yeah, so you, so you old men can play with young talent, I assume. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Hmm, fair enough, I guess. So do you have an alibi for yesterday and the day before? Because they're both dead. Work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Okay, fair enough. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. Yeah, that. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. Exactly. I agree. Can't trust that. So what now? Sejima is actually supposed to be Sejima So, not So Sejima. Is that what it even makes sense? Do you have an alibi? Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You've been asked a hotel. They'll tell you. Fair Dante, enough. I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. Mm, well, there's nothing we can do about that. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. Now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. 
If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something... You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. What about Shoko? I s uh, Well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier. When I said I didn't know. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoko was organizing. Ah. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Yeah, TLDR, Salanobi, there is a murder. If you're trying to figure exactly out who the suspect. killer is and why. Shoko was affiliated and that's about it, Kumakuras. really. And what about Rohan? Why did he commit suicide? I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Or was year. he pushed? Yeah. What's it to you? Shoko looks so great, a professional character. <laughs> Nothing at all. Uh, that's I great. just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. Oh, damn. The two of you look nothing alike. Just saying, if that guy's your older brother, you two look nothing alike. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood Okay, brother. never mind. They aren't actually related by blood. Six years ago, he... Uh, oh, wait, no, they are, but they are. He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. Sounds to me like he got old and then got dementia? Or Alzheimer's? And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You want to know more? Hire a private eye. Fine, then. About Shoko. The victim prior to Renju? Yes. I believe Moma introduced me to her. And? Introduced. We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. You sure about that? Give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. Oh, boy. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. Okay. You're right. Oh, someone's calling me. Date, a call from Lemnus. Oh, Kate. connected. Date, it's me. Ooh. Um, you remember, like, how you said to call you if Ota came? Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Freaking bimbo. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm going to call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iba. Roger. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that these people are not gonna give us the time of day unless we threaten them with guns. And even then, these are Japanese Yakuza people, so they honor everything. We're just gonna have to go and talk to Oda. This is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. No, see, the problem is, as much as I'd like to believe that the Yakuza are involved in their deaths, the way that they were murdered is too complex to be the work of a Yakuza, you know what I mean? I agree, but I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops series. Yeah, see? Aiba knows what I'm talking we about. We need to do further investigation. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> the options. <laughs> okay, okay, chat. I want you to do something for me. I want you to pick which dialogue option I choose for poor Date over here. Because I really want to know, if you were in this situation, what would you do? I'd <laughs> scream like a little girl. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I would scream like a little girl. <laughs> scream like a little girl, uh, all in favor? Well, looks like we're screaming like a little girl then. Possible. How did a jellyfish get here? <laughs> so shiny too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I Renju? Renju? Mizuki. Mizuki? It's me. Uh. Boss. Date, seriously. <laughs> then, are you mom? <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you must have increased your dosage too much. A dosage? Of... The, your dosage of stupid meds? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here? Looking like that. I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. Oh, that's How so are you doing sweet. This? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. It's, you um, it's fun. Right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. Uh, she... <laughs> Date, she lives in your eyeball. <laughs> you do realize I do that all the time, right? Uh, so and Moma are suspicious. As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious, but there is nothing currently linking them to the case. Fair enough, I guess. That's true. We have no established motive. Yeah. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling, and their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is I can English good, I swear. Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. But 
why would they, they... Could have been killed and displayed as a warning. But then why would they go to go through all the trouble of removing their left eye? That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. Yeah, I agree, it doesn't feel right at all. How is Soul related to the Kumakuras anyway? I looked into that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. Of course, because it's probably buried in a pile of shit deeper than the Mariana Trench. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Ah, yes. Conspiracy Most of theorists. Them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories. But would you like to hear them regardless? Okay, maybe. Please. Sure. Uh, let's continue with that little train of Mr. thought. Mr. Sejima currently resides in Azabu. Okay. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. How pretentious. But 20 years ago, so Sejima lived elsewhere. Oh, where? In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. Is that uh, is that our district? Oh! Was the district that got shut down? He was 40 years old. And then the chemical plant exploded. The Sejima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting like, for inflation, like, thanks. the land was valued above 30 billion yen. Damn, that's a lot of money. The Sejima family sold off its holdings. But my next boss later, will be there. Yeah, the great. You should stream this as well, cause the explosion at the chemical plant. The dialogue in the first in the this first like three hours of this game is top notch, area. and by top notch I mean it's and of course, so bad it's good. Drastically to less than one thirtieth their original value. At least now we're getting somewhere. It's hmm. getting interesting too. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious to sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. Might have there caused is another it. another interesting fact. After the accident, So Sejima purchased all of the land back for just 1 billion yen. So technically he so he's owns- he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. So technically he Correct. owns all of that still. The abandoned Despite amusement the park, accident, everything. The Sejima family is no worse off. It sounds like an insurance scam, but True. bigger. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like he got anything out of it. He got 29 billion that might be yen. True. But there is more to this story. There is another important fact. Uh, more things you're not telling me. After the land prices in the Kawasaki region crashed, because of the the um, the the cra the the, um, the uh, chemical plants exploding. We will have exploding. to continue this conversation later. Okay. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Must be boss. Audio. This is Special Agent Date from Abyss. Oh. My name is Akasuka from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. Okay. There's something that you need to hear. Oh. What is it? We got a phone call earlier from a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner, you say? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shogun Adami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. Hmm. You will kill again, you know. And you'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. Who the hell is that? This has to be a prank. That's what I thought too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon, before Reggie was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Oh boy. Yeah. I think he did. Why I thought I should contact you. Now? Good idea. Thanks, detective. I mean, it was good luck. Ow, my foot's itchy. Do you think there's anything to this? Probably. I don't know. I mean, it might be related. Who knows? 